Did you know that in Unreal Engine, you can make your own editor panels with custom scripted behavior? A couple of examples that we have here is for instance, my data asset editor that I made. I can choose the data asset class that I want to edit. Let's say I wanna edit only my BP usable items. Then it gathers up all of the usable items in my entire project. And I can click on any one of these to pull up all of their information and edit whatever I want about them. Do I wanna edit drop tables? I just choose my drop table data assets and now I can edit all of the different drop tables that exist in my project, all within this one little editor panel. But I also, for instance, made a adjustable to-do list fully in engine that is built up of tasks that have subtasks that can have subtasks and so on and so forth. You can also make a widget that lets you duplicate actors. So if I, for instance, select this enemy over here, and I say I duplicate it upwards with a distance of a thousand, well, let's say 500 units in between. Then I can say, first draw debug to check what that would look like. That seems pretty good to me. Then I can uh, change it back to spawn actors. And then when I press this button, it spawns in a handful of copies of that actor. And I can do that in any direction that I want with any of these buttons. Do I want to do it in its forward direction? Then it spawns them in like this. You can write out and script any behavior that you want. The only thing you have to do is you go into any place in your project, you right click and you make a new editor utility widget. There's also editor utility blueprints. These are actions that you can script, specifically custom actions if there's something that you uh, want in your project that you're doing a lot of. You want to make that into an action that's easily repeatable. You can do that as well. It's an entirely different topic though. These widgets, it's just editor utility widgets. Do pay attention though, that if you make an editor utility widget and you want to put in other sub widgets, like in this to-do list, the sub widgets also should be editor utility widgets and not normal user widgets. But go ahead and have fun, make whatever you want for your project to make your workflow just that little bit easier.